Hi, I'm Greg Dell. I'm here with Cesar Gavidia, and today we're going to talk about Ameritas, which is a company, a, a, a giant holding company that owns a few insurance companies, but the one they own, is, the one that they merged with in 2006, basically acquired, was Union Central Life Insurance Company, and now they're operating under the marketing umbrella holding company of Ameritas. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a, a lot of Union Central claims before 2006, and then as those policies are still out there and they sent the shareholder or the policyholders to say, we're now known as Emeritas, which you've probably been receiving on your bills for a while or now your correspondence from the carrier, all says Emeritas. So I guess what we should do to get with the current times is talk about them as Emeritas. Emeritas. But yeah. it's still the old Union Central employees and claims handling. And Emeritas sells a lot of group and individual. So when they went to Emeritas, they went more group, whereas Union Central used to do a lot of individuals. So right. let, let's talk about Emeritas and how you see them for someone who's looking to file a claim or is having trouble with them in terms of a company and their claims handling tactics. Yeah. Well, you know, when when we see Emeritas, you know, it's in the form usually of group disability insurance. But like you mentioned, they had acquired Union Central and we see a lot of those claims as well. So just dealing with Union Central at first, like you, like you mentioned, I think a lot of the employees, the claims handlers that came over um, and are now under the Emeritus umbrella, I think that they were properly trained and taught and, and um, know how to handle a claim in a way that's, I think, a reasonable way to handle it. You know, they're going to be exhaustive in what right. they do and the claims handling procedures and in evaluating your claim and, and uh, looking at the medical uh, evidence and medical records to see if it supports a claim for disability. Now on the group side, um, on the group side we're talking about generally ERISA and I don't believe that they're handled by the same group of people. All right. So, and, I, and with ERISA claims in general, I think people that the claims handlers are taught, you know, uh, and unfortunately I think this is just part of the culture and part of, you know, the way things go. Well, you know, we put them through the ringer and then we let them appeal and then we follow up with uh, then, you know, sending it to a physician consultant or an independent medical exam and we try to plug up any problems or holes that we have in our defense of the case at the appeal stage. Unless, of course, we come in before then and we're handling the appeal and we're kind of cutting them off at the pass right there. Right. So I, I think you're going to see more and more of these Emeritas claims. I know our call, call volume has increased probably because they're selling more of, mm -hmm. their, of their group coverage. Um, you know, they're middle of the road in terms of their experience. Obviously a difference when we see, I see a difference when we see an Emeritas individual disability claim, which was the former Union Central claim. And those are usually policies. There's a lot of old policies out there. A lot of veterinarians bought those policies. Mm -hmm. A lot of doctors, a lot of business professionals bought those policies. And also one thing that we see, which can be sometimes challenging, is the business overhead policies. Because Emeritas and Union Central sold and sells a lot of business overhead policies, um, which have limited pay periods and are difficult because sometimes they require you to still run your practice, obviously, right. and still have the expenses. And there's really ways to maximize those business overhead policies, even though you're not continuing to work. So those are strategies that we can discuss with you if you have one of these business overhead policies. But in, in terms of the timeframes from Emeritas, have you found them to be reasonable in their, the time periods they take when I evaluating? Think, I think generally they, um, they take an appropriate amount of time, reasonable amount of time to evaluate a claim. I don't think there's an excessive uh, delay um, or stall tactics that are generally employed by Emeritas, as we've seen with other disability insurance companies. I mean, some of them we've we've sat and, and the claimant comes to us and they've had, they've been sitting for a year waiting for a decision. I don't think right. that that's something you'd expect from Emeritas or Union Central. And then I see sometimes uh, the common challenges I see with these Emeritas policies is the total versus residual analysis mm -hmm. and how that definition is about someone who might be working part-time or are they doing their substantial material duties versus one or more of their important duties, and we've litigated that issue against Union Central on many occasions. And also, I think Emeritas is a big fan of video surveillance, and not the types of videos that you and I like to do for our potential clients and um, you know, and clients that we have. But what do they do when they're doing this video surveillance? So they will employ a surveillance team or a private investigator, and that uh, investigator will go out to the person's home. Um, you know, they'll sit at the end of the street 
and they'll watch their activity from early in the morning to late in the evening. If they go out um, to do run some errands or go to the grocery store, they'll follow them there. They'll get out of their car. They'll follow them around, often have like a newspaper tucked away with a camera there. So they, they look very inconspicuous, right? Um, and they'll, they may do that for a few days and then they generate a report, okay? And I think that these surveillance teams, these investigators that go out, they're going out with a bias. They wanna catch you doing something. They're not trying to go out and say, well, we just want to see your daily activities and, you know, we just don't want to interrupt you. We want to maintain your privacy. That's not how they operate. They want to try to find you doing something inconsistent with what you've been reporting to Emeritus or Union Central. So, and, and then what happens is, is they, they sometimes have cuts in the videos where like, oh, we'll only get you, you know, when, when you're walking or whatever, or mm -hmm. we saw you for 15 minutes, so now we'll shut the camera off. So there's a lot of problems that come about with that video surveillance, but it's also frustrating because they may spend thousands of dollars on video surveillance and then never have you examined by a doctor. Right. And then never see you the day after the surveillance, obviously the day before surveillance. They don't know how many pain pills you took or what you were doing or how long you were out for or what you went through that night. So there's a lot of problems with surveillance, but the point is that Emeritus really likes to use surveillance and they're not afraid to use it early on in a claim, so you should be aware of that. Now, I'm not disturbed by surveillance, until the point in time where I have a claimant who is not being honest with their doctor right. or telling their doctor things that are different than what they're really doing. And, and once you lose your credibility, you have big problems in these claims. So, so bottom line is you gotta be honest if you have video, video surveillance. So when it comes to Emeritus, we would really like to review your claim. If there's a way for us to help you, we will. Whether you've been denied or you're applying or you need to file a lawsuit, we simply need to review a copy of your policy, possibly a denial letter, the last correspondence you received from the carrier. You can email or fax that to us. Give us a call. We'll let you know right away whether or not we can assist you.